Hello friends, welcome to RS Tech Tutorial channel. I'm Shahid and I will be your trainer for the digital marketing courses. In this channel you will get different videos on digital marketing, including SEO, social media marketing and AdWords as well. So before proceeding, please register on this channel, please subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon so that you can't miss out any notification about the uploaded videos which we'll, we will going to upload later on so start with the today topic my today topic is sitemap what is sitemap as its name suggests it is a website map so a website map indicates to the google crawler about the structure of your websites the links which are included in a sitemap tells google about that uh, these are the important links of your website and the google crawler indexed those pages as per the given preference so now you can create sitemap of any website and i'm showing you how you can do it to create a sitemap, you need to go to your browser and just type the word sitemap generator. See, it's already done by me. So, when you enter this keyword on your browser, you will get some tools, online tools. These are the online tools. You can pick out anyone. Uh, for example, I am picking this tool, XML sitemap generator.org. This is an online website where you can generate sitemap for your website. So, after this, going to this website, you need to click on this tab, online generator. And after this, you will see this kind of interface. So, what next thing now you have to do is to insert your website link. For whom you have to generate a sitemap. For example, I'm going to generate a sitemap for RS of Tech. So I'm going to insert my website link over there. HTTPS this is of my website link. After this, the modification date you you should always keep this as as do not include because we don't want to include any date, any particular date. We want to generate the entire sitemap of our website from the beginning date of our website so always select do not include the modified date there's no need to enter the ddmmyy or date month etc and also we don't want any frequency we we keep the frequencies as none and the default priority setting also as none because we don't want any priority of our pages after this, uh, we have to go through a certain verification process, something. Here I need to give my email. I have given it. Uh, this email, it, it is a must email, which we have to go. Because uh, when the sitemap is generated, we will get notified in our email that your sitemap is ready. So I have given my email. After this, uh, I had to go uh, further. Check list. FF. And I agree to the condition. So, after this, I am going to just click the word site generate my sitemap. So, when you click on this generate sitemap icon, thus your process for the online generation we're going to automatically conduct it now you will receive an email from the website that your site map is ready like this kind of email it is already done so you can download your generated site map from here i just click it for you for the demo See, 
as as I just showing there there is forty two pages in our site map. I can download all. So right now I am getting this is my sitemap dot zip file. So to open it, we have to uh, unzip it to show how our sitemap is prepared. See, I am extracting it from here. This is extracted, and uh, so this is a sitemap file. This is. You will get to uh, notified with the two types of file. One is a notepad file, the TST, and another is the XML file. The file which is uploaded on the server is sitemap.xml file. So this is a XML and this is a notepad file I'm going to show you. So it's a structure of XML. And when you open this file dot XML one, you will notify that in this kind of structure. So this is our sitemap.xml file. Okay, see. So, uh, see, according to the generated sitemap, uh, home page, this highlighted home page, is the top, is the topmost, is that topmost priority. And after that, it is that second top priority. If you want to change any URL, you can simply do it by control by copy links email and creating a new notepad file on it. Suppose I'm doing it here. This is I have it done. This is a structure of sitemap. Uh, so when whenever you create any sitemap on notepad, you have to you need to remove these first two lines because our sitemap will start from the URL site like this given. Our sitemap will start from URL site and get in the name of this uh, etc etc will come and our main sitemap will start from here. This our uh, this is a tag of first is link URL tag then location tag after that our location in that location, we have to locate our link. Our link. Suppose we have given a link of a home page. After that, we have to close that location tag, and after that, we have to close our uh, URL tag. This is the entire structure of a format. Suppose I have to add a new any new link over here. I have to do. I can do the same by doing this URL. Now after this, I have to create. LOC. Now I have to give in my link. Suppose I am giving any link HTTPS. Ah, uh, that's okay. Dot com. Suppose I am giving contact us page or say digital marketing page. I think digital marketing page is not to no, it is there. Suppose I am giving. Uh, See sample page. I have one page whose link is sample. Sample dash page. After this, I have to close this location tag first. And after this, I have to close the URL tag. So in this way, you can define the different types of links as per your priority. You can also do the cut paste job here also suppose after home page i want to give preference uh, my second important page is digital marketing page i can identify it from here by doing control f digital typing this key phrase i got the link digital marketing training page link here i i go over there i cut it from there and just paste it over here see so while doing the cut and paste stuff, you should remember that you can't miss out any tag. Suppose you miss out any tag, uh, 
then the your cycle will happen not going to run on the search engine so suppose it is on my sitemap so as per uh, i can rearrange it in any order as per my convenience as per my website structure uh, because it is up to us that which stage we we want to rank actually the sitemap the purpose of creating sitemap is to boost our visibility online visibility then the links which are included in the sitemap will going to be indexed regularly and it will help in boosting the online ranking of these links so this is one of the major advantage of having a sitemap on search engine so when you have created such kind of sitemap i am i will going to download it uh, i am going to save this new file as name sitemap dot xml suppose i am saying saving it in suppose I'm supposing I'm sure. Suppose I am saving it as here. Now I have to test it. Is it uh, installed properly or not? So I go to my folder where I have saved the same. See, this is I am going to my folder, share folder. This is my sitemap file. Dot XML file. just i have to drag and drop it to check whether it is whether the changes that i have made over there has done successfully or not i am just dragging it from there going to my browser and checking it see the site map is quite correctly installed it is it is running perfectly so there is no error in the in the site map in case i i missed out any tag suppose the url tag i open that tag i forget to close tag then you will be notified with an error so that solves from my side for this training please subscribe to our channel once so that you can get any more interactive videos like this in future also and you can't miss out any of them Thank you from my side. Bye. Have a good day.